Question 1. The air compressor in an air brake system. A. Stops the vehicle by converting air pressure to hydraulic pressure. B. Pumps air into the air storage tanks. C. Releases air from the brake when the pedal is released. Answer. B. Pumps air into the air storage tanks. The air compressor's primary function is to maintain air pressure in the storage tanks. Question 2. The safety valve is set to open at A. 150 PSI B. 100 PSI C. 125 PSI Answer. A. 150 PSI The safety valve releases air to prevent excessive pressure, typically set to open at 150 PSI. Question 3. The brake pedal in air brake systems controls. A. The air pressure applied to put on the brakes. B. The hydraulic fluid in the brake lines. C. The amount of exhaust from the engine. Answer. A. The air pressure applied to put on the brakes. The brake pedal regulates air pressure to apply the brakes. Question 4. The foundation brakes are used at each wheel. The three types are A. Disc, drum, and scam. B. Hydraulic, air, and electric. C. Front, rear, and side. Answer. A. Disc, drum, and scam. These are the three types of foundation brakes. Question 5. The supply pressure gauge shows. A. Brake application pressure. B. The temperature of the brake fluid. C. The amount of air pressure in the air tanks. Answer. C. The amount of air pressure in the air tanks. This gauge indicates available air pressure for braking. Question 6. The application pressure gauge shows. A. The amount of air pressure in the air tanks. B. How much pressure you are applying to the brakes. C. That the temperature of the brake fluid. Answer. B. How much pressure you are applying to the brakes. This gauge indicates the pressure applied when braking. Question 7. The low air pressure warning signal. A. Comes on when air pressure drops below 100 PSI. B. Comes on when air pressure drops below 60 PSI. C. Is only for vehicles with hydraulic brakes. Answer. B. Comes on when air pressure drops below 60 PSI. This is a safety feature to alert the driver. Question 8. The spring brakes in trucks and buses. A. Are used to power the vehicle's air conditioner. B. Come on automatically if the air pressure drops too low. C. Are used to modulate the service brakes. Answer. B. Come on automatically if the air pressure drops too low. Spring brakes act as emergency brakes. Question 9. The parking brake should be tested while A. The vehicle is moving slowly. B. The vehicle is parked. C. The vehicle is on a steep hill. Answer. B. The vehicle is parked. It's safest to test the parking brake when stationary. Question 10. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than A. 3 PSI in 1 minute B. 2 PSI in 1 minute C. 4 PSI in 1 minute Answer. A. 3 PSI in 1 minute. This is the maximum allowable air loss rate. Question 11. The air loss rate for a combination vehicle with the engine off and the brakes off should not be more than A. 5 PSI in 1 minute B. 4 PSI in 1 minute C. 3 PSI in 1 minute Answer. B. 4 PSI in 1 minute This is the maximum allowable air loss rate for combination vehicles. Question 12. The air loss rate for a combination vehicle with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than A. 6 PSI in 1 minute B. 4 PSI in 1 minute C. 5 PSI in 1 minute Answer. C. 5 PSI in 1 minute. 
This is the maximum allowable air loss rate when brakes are applied. Question 13, brake lag distance is. A, the distance your vehicle travels from the time you see a hazard until your brain recognizes it. B, the distance your vehicle travels while you are making a decision. C, the distance your vehicle travels from the time you apply the brakes until they start to take hold. Answer, C. The distance your vehicle travels from the time you apply the brakes until they start to take hold. Air brakes have a slight delay before they activate. Question 14. The braking power of the spring brakes. A. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. B. Is not affected by the condition of the service brakes. C. Increases when the service brakes are hot. Answer. A. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Proper adjustment is crucial for effective braking. Question 15. The air compressor governor controls. A. When the air compressor pumps air into the air storage tanks. B. The temperature of the compressed air. C. The speed of the air compressor. Answer. A. When the air compressor pumps air into the air storage tanks, the governor maintains air pressure within a set range. Question 16. The brake shoes and drums on a vehicle equipped with air brakes. A. Are cooled by this cam. B. Should never come in contact with each other. C. Should always be in contact with each other. Answer. B. Should never come in contact with each other. They only make contact during braking. Question 17. This cam. A. Forces the brake shoes away from one another. B. Pushes the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. C. Is used to adjust the brakes. Answer. B. Pushes the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. This cam rotates to apply the brakes. Question 18. The air storage tanks. A. Are used to hold compressed air. B. Are used to hold brake fluid. C. Are used to hold the vehicle's fuel supply. Answer. A. Are used to hold compressed air. These tanks store the air used for braking. Question 19. The air tank drain valves. A. Should be checked daily. B. Should be checked monthly. C. Do not need to be checked unless the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Answer. A. Should be checked daily. Regular checks ensure no moisture or oil buildup. Question 20. The supply pressure gauge tells you A. How much air pressure is being applied to the brakes. B. How much pressure is in the air tanks. C. How hot the air is in the air compressor. Answer. B. How much pressure is in the air tanks. This gauge indicates available air pressure. Question 21. The application pressure gauge. A. Shows how much air pressure you are applying to the brakes. B. Shows how much pressure is in the air tanks. C. Shows how hot the air is in the air compressor. Answer. A. Shows how much air pressure you are applying to the brakes. It indicates brake application pressure. Question 22. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the A. Emergency brake system. B. Parking brake system. C. Service brake system. Answer. C. Service brake system. This system is used during normal driving conditions. Question 23. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the parking brake control is the A. Emergency brake system. B. Parking brake system. C. Service brake system. Answer. B. Parking brake system. This system is engaged when the vehicle is parked. Question 24. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when there is a loss of air pressure is the A. Emergency brake system. B. Parking brake system. C. Service brake system. Answer. A. Emergency brake system. This system activates in case of air pressure loss. Question 25. The hand valve should be used. 
A. To test the trailer brakes. B. To provide more air to the service brakes. C. As a normal stopping device. Answer. A. To test the trailer brakes. The hand valve is primarily for testing purposes. Question 26. The tractor protection valve. A. Protects the tractor air brake system from losing air if the trailer breaks away. B. Protects the tractor air brake system from overpressurization. C. Protects the tractor air brake system from water and oil contamination. Answer. A. Protects the tractor air brake system from losing air if the trailer breaks away. It's a safety feature. Question 27. The safety relief valve. A. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. B. Relieves air pressure to help the system cool down. C. Relieves air pressure to help the brakes apply more forcefully. Answer. A. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. It's a safety feature to prevent excessive pressure. Question 28. The air compressor governor. A. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. B. Controls the speed of the air compressor. C. Controls the temperature of the compressed air. Answer. A. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. It maintains air pressure within a set range. Question 29. The brake pedal in air brake systems. A. Controls the speed of the air compressor. B. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. C. Controls the temperature of the compressed air. Answer. B. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. The brake pedal regulates air pressure for braking. Question 30. The air storage tanks. A. Are used to hold the vehicle's fuel supply. B. Are used to hold brake fluid. C. Are used to hold compressed air. Answer. C. Are used to hold compressed air. These tanks store the air used for braking. Question 31. The air tank drain valves. A. Should be checked monthly. B. Should be checked daily. C. Do not need to be checked unless the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Answer. B. Should be checked daily. Regular checks ensure no moisture or oil buildup. Question 32. The safety relief valve. A. Relieves air pressure to help the brakes apply more forcefully. B. Relieves air pressure to help the system cool down. C. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. Answer. C. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. It's a safety feature. Question 33. The tractor protection valve. A. Protects the tractor air brake system from water and oil contamination. B. Protects the tractor air brake system from overpressurization. C. Protects the tractor air brake system from losing air if the trailer breaks away. Answer. C. Protects the tractor air brake system from losing air if the trailer breaks away. It's a safety feature. Question 34. The hand valve should be used. A. As a normal stopping device. B. To provide more air to the service brakes. C. To test the trailer brakes. Answer. C. To test the trailer brakes. The hand valve is primarily for testing purposes. Question 35. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the A. Parking brake system. B. Emergency brake system. C. Service brake system. Answer. C. Service brake system. This system is used during normal driving conditions. Question 36. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the parking brake control is the A. Service brake system. B. Emergency brake system. C. Parking brake system. Answer. C. Parking brake system. This system is engaged when the vehicle is parked. Question 37. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when there is a loss of air pressure is the A. Parking brake system. 
B. Emergency brake system. C. Service brake system. Answer. B. Emergency brake system. This system activates in case of air pressure loss. Question 38. The safety relief valve. A. Relieves air pressure to help the system cool down. B. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. C. Relieves air pressure to help the brakes apply more forcefully. Answer. B. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. It's a safety feature. Question 39. The air compressor governor. A. Controls the temperature of the compressed air. B. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. C. Controls the speed of the air compressor. Answer. B. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. It maintains air pressure within a set range. Question 40. The brake pedal in air brake systems. A. Controls the temperature of the compressed air. B. Controls the speed of the air compressor. C. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Answer. C. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. The brake pedal regulates air pressure for braking. Question 41. The air storage tanks. A. Are used to hold brake fluid. B. Are used to hold the vehicle's fuel supply. C. Are used to hold compressed air. Answer. C. Are used to hold compressed air. These tanks store the air used for braking. Question 43. What is the primary purpose of the lag time in air brake systems? A. To allow the driver to rest between brake applications. B. To ensure that the brakes do not engage too quickly. C. To increase fuel efficiency by delaying brake application. Answer. B. To ensure that the brakes do not engage too quickly. The lag time, or the time between the driver pressing the brake pedal and the actual engagement of the brakes is inherent in air brake systems. This is due to the time it takes for the air to flow through the lines and apply the brakes. Question 44. Which component ensures that air is drained from the tanks? A. Brake pedal. B. Alcohol evaporator. C. Automatic tank drain. Answer. C. Automatic tank drain. The automatic tank drain automatically ejects moisture and contaminants from the air tanks. Question 45. What is the main danger of brake fade? A. It causes the brakes to apply more forcefully. B. It makes the brake pedal feel softer. C. It reduces the braking power, potentially leading to brake failure. Answer. C. It reduces the braking power, potentially leading to brake failure. Brake fade occurs when brakes are overused and become overheated, reducing their effectiveness. Question 46. In an air brake system, what prevents air from flowing back into the compressor once it's been pumped out? A. The brake pedal. B. The one-way check valve. C. The brake drums. Answer. B. The one-way check valve. This valve allows air to flow in only one direction, ensuring a consistent supply of pressurized air for the brake system. Question 47. Why is it important to routinely check and drain the air tanks in an air brake system? A. To ensure the brake lights are working. B. To prevent moisture and contaminants which can freeze or damage the system. C. To improve the vehicle's fuel efficiency. Answer. B. To prevent moisture and contaminants, which can freeze or damage the system, regularly draining the air tanks helps maintain the system's efficiency and longevity. Question 48. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when there is a loss of air pressure is the A. Service brake system B. Parking brake system C. Emergency brake system Answer. B. Emergency brake system this system activates in case of air pressure loss. Question 49. What happens if the air pressure in the tanks becomes too high? A. The compressor will shut off automatically. B. 
The brakes will apply automatically. C. The safety relief valve will release air. Answer. C. The safety relief valve will release air. This valve ensures that the air pressure within the system does not reach dangerous levels. Question 50. The air compressor governor. A. Controls the speed of the air compressor. B. Controls the temperature of the compressed air. C. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. Answer. C. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. It maintains air pressure within a set range. Question 51. The brake pedal in air brake systems. A. Controls the speed of the air compressor. B. Controls the temperature of the compressed air. C. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Answer. C. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. The brake pedal regulates air pressure for braking. Question 52. The air storage tanks. A. Are used to hold the vehicle's fuel supply. B. Are used to hold compressed air. C. Are used to hold brake fluid. Answer. B. Are used to hold compressed air. These tanks store the air used for braking. Question 53. The air tank drain valves. A. Should be checked monthly. B. Do not need to be checked unless the low air pressure warning signal comes on. C. Should be checked daily. Answer. C. Should be checked daily. Regular checks ensure no moisture or oil buildup. Question 54. The safety relief valve. A. Relieves air pressure to help the brakes apply more forcefully. B. Relieves air pressure to help the system cool down. C. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. Answer. C. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. It's a safety feature. Question 55. The tractor protection valve. A. Protects the tractor air brake system from water and oil contamination. B. Protects the tractor air brake system from losing air if the trailer breaks away. C. Protects the tractor air brake system from overpressurization. Answer. B. Protects the tractor air brake system from losing air if the trailer breaks away. It's a safety feature. Question 56. The hand valve should be used. A. As a normal stopping device. B. To test the trailer brakes. C. To provide more air to the service brakes. Answer. B. To test the trailer brakes. The hand valve is primarily for testing purposes. Question 57. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the A. Parking brake system. B. Service brake system. C. Emergency brake system. Answer. B. Service brake system. This system is used during normal driving conditions. Question 58. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the parking brake control is the A. Service brake system. B. Emergency brake system. C. Parking brake system. Answer. C. Parking brake system. This system is engaged when the vehicle is parked. Question 59. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when there is a loss of air pressure is the A. Parking brake system. B. Service brake system. C. Emergency brake system. Answer. C. Emergency brake system. This system activates in case of air pressure loss. Question 60. The safety relief valve. A. Relieves air pressure to help the brakes apply more forcefully. B. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. C. Relieves air pressure to help the system cool down. Answer. B. Relieves air pressure to prevent the system from overpressurization. It's a safety feature.